So we'd spray it down, right? We'd put heel and lace pads on, and we're going to pre-wrap this. We're going to pre-wrap it just like the foot. I'm going to stand it. So, so we're going to pre-wrap this just like we normally would for an ankle. We don't have to be really high, okay? Again, we're not supporting the ankle in this at all. We're, we're going to target this area right here in the, in the navicular, okay? So we don't have to be super high. Everything's done in threes. So we're going to take our tape. We're going to put down three anchors. My third anchor should get me really close, if not right on top of my malleola. That's kind of how you know you've come down far enough, okay? Then you're going to take out your guns, right? And you're going to put them on the bottom of the foot, and you're going to sh put your thumb on the navicular bone, and you're going to shoot the Achilles. Should be on an angle just like this, okay? Maliolus is here, okay? It's not straight up. It's on an angle to the back. This angle will cover you. If you'll follow that angle, this will take you through the entire tape job. Okay, so this hand goes with this foot, this hand goes with this foot, right? That's how, a little trick to kind of keep you honest, keep you figuring it out. So we're going to start everything on the lateral side, where my fingers were. I'm going to anchor there. This is fairly light around the outside. When I get to the inside, it's just a little pull and tear. Okay, we're going to do three of these. They start in exactly the same place, but as we come across, we kind of want to fan them out. So this is one of those areas you can kind of practice your manipulation a little bit. Now we're going to do three more, starting in the same place. Only this time, we're going to come, a little bit of a pull, light around the outside, all the way around the foot, a little pull up the middle. Okay, up the inside of the leg. We do three of these. like that. That is the tape job. Now we're just going to close it in. Okay. Remember how we talked about angles. This is all about angles. This is going to work its way down until our last couple are actually going to be pointing straight at the foot. Okay. I don't want to see you trying to go in perfect circles. So this one was slightly up. The next one's going to be down a little bit more. The next one's down a little bit more. Can you see how I'm gradually working my angle down? That was my last one that will come all the way around and meet itself. Okay, now we're into what we call C strips. Um, they're not actually going to touch each other. They don't need to touch each other. All right. We're going to do one more down here. We always work. The big hole is going to be on the outside of the foot. The inside, there's really not much. The outside, that's where we're going to go. We're using this as kind of an anchor point. So that's where we want to end our strips. We have one little hole on the last on the lateral side. Okay, we have all these loose ends, so all we're going to do is tack our hole on that side, cover our loose ends, and tear it. Now, really, the only pressure she should feel is right here. Right? Mm -hmm. If they're feeling a lot of pressure on the outside, it's because you pulled too tight. Right? We don't want to have that. We want it to be fairly fairly loose on the outside. Pressure here. We've just lifted that navicular. If we lift that, take the stress out of the tendon there, we relieve the shin splint. Okay? 